section 3.3 from uh, Trig and Precalc 11, basically finding the angle uh, theta between uh, 0 and 360. Um, so a few things to remember, um, the special angle triangles right there. You have to remember those to be able to find the angles. Also, remember that all students take calculus 0, 90, 180, 270, and all around is 360 degrees. Um, we, answering these kind of questions, we never um, use the 90 and the, seven, to the 270. We don't need them. We need the 0, 180, and 360. Um, so here, when it says sine equals root 3 over 2, and they want you to find the angles between 0 and 360, now you're gonna have two angles, why? Because the sine has a positive ratio right here and the sine could be positive in the first quadrant or also it could be positive in the second quadrant. So you have two terminal arms. Now, if you wanna find out which angle has a sine root three over two and exact values, you have to find this in exact values. That means it's a special angle triangle. So if you go look, and if you look at the sine of 30, it's one half, so it's, it's not 30. But if you look at the sine 60, sine 60, the opposite is root three, the, high, the hypotenuse is two. So it's the angle 60 that has a sine of root three over two. Therefore, your reference angle is here gonna be 60 degrees. And also the reference angle here is 60 degrees. Again, the reference angle is the angle between the terminal arm and the x-axis. That's the terminal arm, this is the x-axis. And we always measure angles from the zero. So we're gonna have two angles. The first one, we could call it theta one would equal 60 degrees, it's simple because it's in the first quadrant. The second angle is gonna be this one and this one is theta two and to find theta two is, if you go all the way to 180, take away the 60, it'll give you this portion right here. So if you go 180 degrees minus 60 degrees, it gives you one 20 degrees and that's the answer for that one. Um, if we're doing cos theta equals negative one half, um, so the cos here is negative and since we know all the students take, sorry, take calculus right here. Yeah, take calculus. Um, some of them call it the cast rule, whatever. You could use whatever helps you memorize this or remember it. Um, so the cos is negative. The cos is negative, definitely. It cannot be here because the cos is positive here and it cannot be there because all of them are positive. So the cos is po po a negative is in the second quadrant and in the third quadrant. There's what the cos, where the cos is negative. Um, now you go back here and you look for the angle that has a cos of one half now, if you look at 30, cos 30 is adjacent, root three over hypotenuse two, so that's not it. We look at the 60, adjacent is one, hypotenuse is two, so therefore my reference angle is 60, and I put that right in between the terminal arms and the x-axis. Now we have to find this theta one, and the other one is theta two, so we have to find theta one and theta two. Theta one is the same as we found it in here. So because you're in this quadrant, if you go all the way to 180 minus the, ref the reference angle, which we refer to to find the real angle, gives me 120 degrees. Theta two will equal, so theta two, you'll go all the way to 180 and then go more 60. So that means you go 180 degrees minus plus, sorry, 60 degrees, and that gives you 240. We'll explore one more question after this. Uh, just gonna pause you for a little bit and we'll go to the next question. So example number three, tan theta equals negative one. So again, all students take calculus 0, 180, 360, you don't even need to write the 90 and 270 because honestly, that's, these are the 
angles that you resort to when you're finding this, when you're answering this kind of questions, finding the angle and in, 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 in exact value. Okay, so we should exact is very important. Um, when you're finding angles in exact value between zero and 360, you you resort only to zero, 180, and 360. So you don't even have to worry about the 90 and 270. And the reason that is because your reference angle is always between the x axis and the terminal arm, and it's not with the y axis. So never resort to the 90 or 270 to do so. I mean, it will be a long process, but we don't we don't do it. So make your life as easy as possible. So tan is negative. Uh, definitely not here because the tan is positive, and definitely not here. So you're in this quadrant. And this, uh, the the second and the fourth. Okay, uh, just in some of you as a reminder, these are how the sides are called: one, two, three, four. Um, and now, which which angle has a tan of one? Ignore ignore the sign. It's just tan, the, the negative sign tells you which quadrant you're in. Now you treat it as if it was tan equals one. Now, if you look at the thirty and the sixty degrees, you're not gonna get that out of there. But if you look at 45, tan is opposite over adjacent, and that gives you one. So I know my reference angle here, my reference angle is 45. I put a 45, reference angle goes between the terminal arm and the x-axis, the x-axis and the terminal arm right there. So these are 45 degrees, 45 degrees. Don't think this is the answer, no, because we always measure the angles from the zero side. So this is the zero side. So the first one will be this one, if you want to call it theta one, and then the second one is going to be from zero all the way to here, and that's theta two. So theta one will be, if you go all the way to 180, take away 45 degrees, you'll end up with um, 135 degrees. So that's your theta one. Theta two is, you got to go all the way to 360, take away the 45, so 360 degrees minus 45 degrees equals um, 315 degrees. So this is the last example I'm gonna give you on this. Make sure you know this stuff really well because next year um, you'll be doing this again. You'll be doing angles and radians, which is a different unit of measuring angles, but this will come back to hunt you again next year in grade 12. Make sure you understand it well. Then next time we'll talk to you soon. Thank you for watching.